Oh, yeah. Someone is definitely manipulating energy. <laughs> I am the Supreme Voice, and this message is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. When you are in your North Node, you're activating your life's purpose. You're taking steps and doing things that's for the collective, not just for yourself, not just for your family, but it's for everybody. One is a part of the whole and the whole is part of one. You activate your life's purpose. And when people try to come against you, the backfire is crazy. How you gonna put a spell on God? <laughs> Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and North Node. Yeah, somebody's playing all in your energy. They wanna trigger you. They wanna see a different side of you, okay? It's the full moon. Darkness gathers. I have a lot of channeled messages and um, I'm going to get them out tonight, no matter what. I'm going to get them out. And um, someone's playing all in your energy and it's all about triggering you. It's all about trying to get you to change something. It's all about you trying to walk away from your purpose. Okay? So, um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. I start off with channeled messages and then I get into the tarot. I consider myself to be way more of a messenger than a tarot reader, but I love to use the tarot to back up the messages. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the messages will resonate with you and sometimes the tarot will resonate with you. It just all depends, okay? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Leave me a thumbs up. And be sure to drop messages in the comments. Okay? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, No. I already let that out. I'm not going to pay a whole lot of attention to that. I know that whoever is throwing this energy work around into the collective, they've got their own payment. Okay? They've got their own payment they got to deal with. Okay? All right? So... In your energy, I picked up prayer. Someone is praying a whole lot. Someone's asking questions like someone didn't get a job. Someone didn't get an offer. Someone didn't get a certain kind of relationship. And the reason why you didn't is because it was for your protection. You see, prayers we do on the inside of ourselves. Nobody else can hear them except for the divine. However, be very, very careful because... There are other energies and entities that can hear your prayers too. Tricky ones, okay? Also in your energy is, um, again, the word why. Why is this happening? Why is that happening? Actually, what I picked up on is someone is so pissed off at your progress. Someone is wondering why you haven't failed yet. Like, I'm picking up on some energies at the Libra, Samu, Rising, North Node where someone actually did get a good job offer. Someone has moved into, I just seen a brown wooden door, like a brand new door. So either someone's moved into a new apartment or a new home. I also picked up on like someone moving a different location or someone getting like a really beautiful relationship and there's someone in your energy wondering why why things have not failed for you mm -hmm. um also your energy is 80 dollars i see a male with like blue jeans on and he looks really disappointed he like was sitting down with his elbows on top of his his knees and it was something relevant to $80. I'm not sure if you lent $80 out. 
you it was something wasted you felt like you wasted money like eighty dollars now this could be a feminine too but it's something relevant about eighty dollars i think you may have given eighty dollars to a female and maybe she didn't pay the money back or i don't know eighty dollars um next in your energy is about rent or mortgage someone's in a particular situation where there's like a family or a roommate situation and someone is not willing to pay rent or someone feels like they have a sense of entitlement like i'm the youngest or i was living here first or when i moved here the lease said that i'm only supposed to be paying this or i was paying this when i first got here there's some sort of conflict around rent and someone feeling entitled and whoever is like the landlord or whoever the person is that's in charge they are they're getting kind of like pushed over or nobody's respecting the person whoever collects the rent or whatever somebody's like not getting respect okay and don't tell them that there's something very unique about you and like someone showed your pictures or your social media to someone else like your enemy i'm picking up on someone that is very witchy okay this person like showed your social media to someone else and someone was like oh well they really don't look that bad and the person got was like don't say that shit like they hated that they showed you to someone else and that person complimented you all right let's keep going libra sun and rising north node let's keep going We've got the higher font in reverse. That was the five of swords. And then the higher font in reverse, Libra. We've got a queen of swords in reverse. What's trying to come out but didn't fall out was the three of swords. Libra, sun, moon, eight of wands. Libra, sun, Seven of Cups in reverse. Libra. Okay, okay. Five of Wands. And then the Six of Swords. Let's get one more. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so. Woo! There's a conflict going on, okay? Somebody really, really, really like has it out for someone in the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node Collective. With these first three cards coming out like this, okay? These first three cards, conflict, the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords in reverse, someone is really coming for your head. Someone is really, really devilish. The Eight of Wands is coming out here next. I'm picking up on an energy of someone who will do anything and fight to the last breadcrumb. Whoever this person is does not sleep at night because they're too busy just calculating and juicifying what their next step is or their next move is for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North. No, that should be like um, a very big hint. Excuse me, I was getting messages come through there. And as you see, I had to set my stuff up on my laptop because there was some technical issues. But anyways, this person has no life. I'm picking up on someone that may not even have children. And this person is very, very jealous of your relationships because they can't get any and they're in, they're in constant conflict. And I'm going to be honest with you, this really feels like a family situation. And whoever this person is, they're drowning in misery. They're really, really drowning in misery. Like somebody has it out for you bad. This person suffers with low self-esteem. They're watching your social media. They're watching how brilliant you look. I'm just getting all different sorts of feelings about paid spell work. 
like someone paid to do some sort of, and that's probably who they were showing your social media to. Victory. They just can't win. It's going to backfire. This is someone you've lived with. If you're a masculine, this could definitely be a feminine that you've dealt with. If you're a feminine, this could be a roommate or a family member. Whoever this person is, they they lacked creativity. They would never ever put themselves like on a public platform. This person has a type A personality. And for some reason, I'm picking up whoever this person is, has some sort of earth energy to them as well. Seven of Pentacles. Also, this person, I'm also picking up that even though they don't have kids, they, they have someone in their life, though. They could be in a relationship or they could be married. But this person has someone in their life. And because, okay, so there's a Seven of Pentacles. You ended something with this person. You got this person blocked. Page of Pentacles in reverse. You blocked this person because they did something to you. And then we've got a page of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This feels like a sibling. Libra. Yeah, something happened. There's something you blocked this person. You and this person are in no contact. This feels like a sibling or a roommate. It's definitely a family dynamic and someone is definitely feeling entitled to something. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Let's keep going. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Two of Wands. What? Okay, before I say what that is, let me go on a little further. Libra. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Whoever this person is dealt with like a lot of jealousy. And what's so weird about this particular person is they probably tried to call you back and say something like, Oh, like they fake, like this person will fake their way back into your life. Like everything is okay just to get you back. You're dealing with someone who is vicious. This here tells me all I need to know about this person. Queen of Wands in reverse. This person is very like, they're jealous, they're vicious. Even though I'm feeling some earth energy from this person, they could definitely have some sort of um, air in their chart. Mentally, always thinking and calculating their next move. Abuse of authority. This feels like a sibling. They're very ungrounded. I just said that. They're very mentally unstable. Hmm. Let's keep going. Libra. Sneaky. Libra. Sun. Okay, we've got the Four of Wands. Yeah, this person's in... I mentioned there was some sort of thing going on inside of a household. Someone left this home. Someone left the house. Someone left because of this. And then someone's like, come back. I didn't mean to treat you that way. Someone seeking revenge on you. Queen of Cups. And then we've got a Knight of Wands in reverse. For no reason. Someone seeking revenge on you for no reason. There's no purpose. But someone's seeking revenge on you. And they're seeking revenge on you because of... You're very different. I'm picking up on a sweetheart energy. Whoever this Queen of Swords is in reverse, she definitely dibbles and dabbles in spell work. It's the Empress. Wow. Someone could be pregnant. 
but you also could be very fertile and pregnant with a lot of ideas a lot of several things on your plate polymathic the ability to have several different um like you have knowledge of several different things jealous of an empress a loving empress or this is the energy that you're going to be sitting in. This person, don't tell her that. Remember, we mentioned someone's like, don't tell him or her that. Don't tell Libra that about themselves. Someone doesn't like your shine. They don't want you to know that you do sign your shine. Excuse me. <laughs> you're sitting in the Queen of Pentacles. There's something you're working on. Look at all that. We've got a Queen of Cups. Someone's very innocent. Someone's very innocent. Someone's, if this is a sibling, you've dealt with this person for a long, long time. This person is calculated in knowing exactly how you do things. Yeah. They've sat back and observed you for a while. And been jealous the whole entire time. Look at that. We've got a king of pentacles in reverse. Who is this King of Pentacles in reverse? Why is this King of Pentacles in reverse out here? Oh, wow. This Queen, okay. Mm. This Queen of, now remember, the Queen of what? This Queen of Swords in reverse can also represent a King of Swords in reverse. This king of pentacles in reverse could also represent a queen of pentacles in reverse. There are some people in your energy, okay, that have been abusive towards you. They've been verbally abusive towards you. And when they gather together, they're usually drinking and smoking and, and basically calculating what their next move is and what they're going to do to you next. You are the topic of their conversation. It's a household. It's, this is a family. This could be a roommate situation. It's the devil in reverse. You're not, you're, you're not a part of this. You're not a part of this. And if this is your siblings, you don't even feel like you belong with these people. We're going to pull some messages from um, a different deck in just one second. Yeah, you stand alone. You've been through all this by yourself, but you're no longer involved in it. Mm -hmm. You refused. You refuse to be a part of whatever this is. Someone feels some sort of entitlement. Look at that. It just flopped out over there. Karma. The judgment card in reverse. Someone feels entitled to also being abusive towards you. Wow. Eight of Swords. Mentally bound. The bottom of the deck. Let's get two more cards. Let's get two more cards. And let's move on. Two more cards, please. We've got a Knight of Cups. Hmm. I'm feeling this energy of somebody that they talk to that you know and you have in common. Somebody that they can get information from. And I'm picking up that this person is someone that you may have went to high school with or you knew for a while. They ran across this person. And the only thing that these people have in common is speaking about you. But they're, this, this Knight of Cups right here doesn't feel right. Ace of Cups. Let's get one more card on that. Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups. The Strength card. Someone from your past who you really, really felt something for, like strong emotional feelings. You've been in some sort of sexual contact or relationship with this person. They're in your energy. I'm just trying to figure out why, but this person is in your energy and it doesn't feel like it can be trusted. They're taking a chance. Why are they taking a chance? And who is this Knight of Cups? 
that feels like they are the one for the collective. Someone in the past that abused your trust. I said I just didn't feel good about that Knight of Cups. This is someone, someone's coming from your past that also was abusive or something ended bad. You're on someone's mind or you could have been thinking about this person. We are going into retrograde. This person is coming towards you. They're willing to take a chance, but this doesn't feel like your divine counterpart. And the reason why this doesn't is because they're showing up as a knight. Miss opportunity. Someone's coming from your past. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you. And they're showing up. I still feel like there's a situation where there's somebody in your past that... Um, if this is a group of roommates, somebody from your past is speaking to these roommates. If this is family, someone from your past is speaking to your family. I'm going to stick to that. I just, I'm really feeling that in this energy right now. This read is very different. Look at that liar jumping out right there. Say kind words to yourself inside your mind. I did mention something about prayer. Okay. Apply. Application. Apply your abilities. There's something going on behind your back. I'm going to tell you one thing about this particular deck. Is when there is some heavy energy going on, this deck sometimes we'll continuously pull things to pull your mind back on yourself because there's so much stuff that's happening in the background scenes let's keep going oh wow no i'm going to go get that one Ugh. root this is coming from something, Dylan, from your childhood. The root chakra is ages zero through eight or zero through seven years old. This goes back. This is something that gives you anxiety. Wow. That one word, being manipulated as a child, a childhood wound. I said that there's something significant about this that has something to do with family home a property a deed a will someone feeling very self-entitled to something forgiveness just jumped out malicious activity behind the scenes i said that like when these messages come out and they're real beautiful. They're real comforting. They're trying to get you to refocus back on yourself because there's so much stuff that's happening behind the scenes. This is a family situation and somebody is into spell work. Someone's paying someone also to spy on someone. I'm picking that up as well. Fight with yourself. From that, I'm picking up an energy of you doubting that you need to stand alone. You're having some sort of fight with yourself about believing that this is how malicious it is. Come back to yourself. Didn't I say that? When things are really going on, a lot of negative energy, these cards will make you begin to come back to yourself because it's this is a time where you have to yeah come back to yourself quickly you got to get grounded quickly they hate you but they like you weirdo what did i say when someone was like calling you back when I said calling you back, I also feel like something happened or something ended and someone actually did call you back. 
maybe you missed a call or you decided not to pick up the call, but someone actually did call you back. Liver. Someone could be dealing with some sort of sickness. I mentioned in the household, I believe I mentioned in the household that in this family dynamic, somebody wasn't feeling very well. Let's keep going. Just beat it. Something's going on around you. Something is definitely happening around you and your angels and your spirit guides want you to pray. They want you to meditate. They want you to look at things for what they really are. Do not sugarcoat shit because somebody really is playing in your energy. Someone really is playing with your energy and you're beautiful, you're loving and you don't deserve it. But they, what could have just came out? Goddess body. I said you're beautiful and you're loving Lock your credit report. Somebody's looking you up. Mm-hmm. Somebody's looking you up. Believe God is with you. If you spit, you will step in it. That's some sort of karma. That's karma. That's backfiring karma. Somebody's going to deal with any sort of spell work that they've sent your way. That shit is backfiring. In need of childhood healing. I mentioned there was something about the root chakra. Seen a hawk. Hawks are symbolic of strength. Hawks also like... Mm. Hawks have a way of like being able to see things that you can't, that humans can't see with their eyes. They can see something. There's something that you're not being able to see. And that's why your angels are telling you and redirecting you back to yourself. You have lost a lot. This could have to do with having to leave this family situation. Someone's lost a lot. Someone could have also like lost like their car or lost like a home. Dream of Scorpion. Someone's playing in your energy. Someone's doing some sort of graveyard magic, death spells, bullshit. Venus, gotta love yourself. <gasps> That's your planet, Libras. Okay, let's just go a little bit more. There's an ancestor with you. Yeah, this reading went very different. I might do a second one just to... Libra. Libra sun. Okay. Stones and rocks. You're very strong. There's an Uriel. Archangel Uriel is with you. And don't eat at their table. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I think those are enough of confirmations to be able to let you know that there is someone playing in your energy. There is someone upset and envious of your success. And this person is someone that's close to you. Okay? Well, you're at a distance. But what I'm trying to say is that you know who this person is. Okay, so I am the Supreme Voice. Thank you guys so much for listening. Be sure to comment and let me know um, what resonated with you. Thank you guys. Bye.